want to get a final school in, and probably at the height that we're going to be competing or higher, get some spooky stuff underneath the fences, do stuff that, that we know that we have trouble with, like one horse probably might not be so good with the turn, so I'm going to be practicing more turns and, and stuff like that. And some horses get a little bit backed off when there's the jumps aren't just poles, if they have something underneath it, like boxes, flowers, the horses tend to peek down and you can have rails that way, or they just might not want to jump. So if you have a spooky horse, you tend to want to jump some more solid stuff or flowers, stuff like that. Well, I bring extra bits just in case the one bit's not strong enough. Most people have tack boxes. This one is a stand-up tack box. It's on rollers. It's aluminum, very light. So here's the saddle. And then we have the saddle pads and everything that go underneath the saddle for the horse. And we make sure we pack the bridles. And there's a breastplate. We've got the boots that we use. We stick this on top. Spurs, anything else like whips, gloves, your show numbers, all that stuff can go in the top of the tack box where you can get it fast if you're in a hurry. Um, one of the final stages in preparing for the horse show is to make sure that our horses are turned out really well. So before I go to the horse show, I always like to bath them. Okay, so after I put the soap on, I just make sure that I really scrub it in with a bit like it's a it's kind of a wire mitt. Just to make sure that I get all the dirt and everything up. And when I'm finished with that, when I do the entire body, I would just hose her off and make sure that I get all the soap off and then sweat scraper. And then I would take a towel and really dry her legs and I'd put a blanket on her.